What if humanity's future isn't on Earth? Imagine standing on the surface of a new world, under a sky painted with colors no human eye has ever witnessed, a place where gravity changes the way you walk, where mountains rise like broken shards of ancient planets, and storms roar with the power to reshape entire landscapes in minutes. But let's ask the real question. Could we actually survive there? For years, scientists have studied the closest planets, Mars, Venus, and the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Not as distant curiosities, but as potential homes. Every world offers possibilities, but every world demands a price. Take Mars. It's the most talked about candidate for future settlement. But surviving there means facing freezing nights, dust storms that blot out sunlight, and radiation levels far beyond anything on Earth. The solution domed cities, underground shelters, and life support systems that recycle every breath of air and drop of water. Then there's Venus. Its surface is a nightmare, hot enough to melt lead, but high above the clouds, a zone where temperature and pressure become surprisingly Earth-like. Scientists imagine floating cities drifting peacefully over the toxic atmosphere, a science fiction dream slowly turning into a scientific model. And what about the icy moons? Europa and Enceladus hide oceans beneath their frozen crusts, oceans that might host the ingredients for life itself. Living there would mean building habitats buried under kilometers of ice, warmed by the planet's internal heat and shielded from deadly radiation. Every idea sounds extreme, every solution sounds impossible, but this is exactly how human progress begins, at the edge of the impossible. Here's the truth. Exploring other planets isn't just for curiosity, it's preparation. If Earth ever faces a global crisis, climate collapse, super volcanoes, cosmic threats, our survival may depend on whether we're ready to live beyond our home world. And with every new invention, stronger materials, smarter robots, advanced radiation shields, we move one step closer to turning distant planets into places we can call home. We've explored these questions across our series, piece by piece, world by world. And the journey is far from over. If you want to know how humanity might build, breathe, and thrive across the solar system, then continue the adventure on For Science Sala Latfi channel, where science transforms into discovery, and the universe becomes a future waiting to be built.